Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a conditional access policy to enable multi-factor authentication for a group of users in Azure Active Directory. For this demo, we will need a working Azure Active Directory tenant with at least an Azure Active Directory P1 or trial license enabled. And we also need an account with global administrator privilege. Multi-factor authentication is a process where a user is prompted during a sign-in event for additional forms of identification. This prompt could be to enter a code on their cell phone or to provide a fingerprint scan. When you require a second form of authentication, security is increased as this additional factor isn't something that is easy for an attacker to obtain or duplicate. Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication and conditional access policies give the flexibility to enable multi-factor authentication for users during specific sign-in events. The recommended way to enable and use Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication is with conditional access policies. Conditional access allows you to create and define policies that react to sign-in events and request additional access before a user is granted access to an application or service. Conditional access policies can be granular and specific. In this video, we will create a basic conditional access policy to prompt for multi-factor authentication when a user signs into the Azure Active Directory portal. First, we will create a conditional access policy and assign to our test group of users. Sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Groups. Here we have one group named Test Group 1. Let's click on it. Click on Members tab. We can see Test User 1, Test User 2 and Test User 3 are member of this group Test Group 1. We will use this Test Group 1 in Conditional Access Policy. Let me close this page. And this page as well. This time under Manage, click on Security. Under Protect, click on Conditional Access. Read brief over your information about Conditional Access on this page. What is Conditional Access? And if you want to learn more about Conditional Access, click on this link. To create a new Conditional Access policy, Click on New Policy Plus icon and select Create New Policy option. Let's click here and select Create New Policy. At bottom, you will see one warning saying you must first disable security defaults before enabling a conditional access policy. And that we can verify here. So before we can create and apply conditional access policy, we need to disable default security settings which is enabled by default. So let's click on Azure Active Directory on left side. Under Manage, click on Properties as we are going to disable security defaults. Click on Manage Security Defaults link. We can read about security default settings. Select No to disable it. It will ask you why you are disabling it. Choose the checkbox in front of 
my organization is using conditional access option. Click on save to save the changes. We got the confirmation message that successfully saved security defaults policy. So now we have disabled security defaults in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Again, click on security. Click on conditional access. To create a new conditional access policy, click on new policy plus icon and select create new policy. And this time, we are not receiving any warning at bottom. Now, enter a name for the policy. Here, I am giving name CA underscore MFA underscore taste policy. You can give any name of your choice. Under assignments, choose users and workload identities. Let's click on this link, zero users or workload identities selected link. We can apply this policy to all users or to specific users or group. I'll go with specific users and group to test it first. So let's select the radio button, select users and groups. Then select the checkbox in front of users and groups. As you can see under select zero users and groups selected from the list Select your Azure Active Directory group. In our case, a group name is Taste Group 1. Let's select our group, Taste Group 1. Remember, Taste User 1, Taste User 2, and Taste User 3 all are member of the security group named Taste Group 1. After selecting your group, click on Select. Under Select, we can verify that one group is selected and the group name is a taste group 1. Now define the cloud apps or actions that trigger the policy. These cloud apps or actions are the scenarios we decide require additional processing such as to prompt for multi-factor authentication. For example, we could decide that access to a financial application or use of management tools requires as an additional verification prompt. For this video, we will configure the conditional access policy to require multi-factor authentication when a user from Taste Group 1 signs in to the Azure portal. So select cloud apps or actions to define it. So let's click on this link. You can choose to apply the conditional access policy to all cloud apps or select specific apps. To provide flexibility, you can also exclude certain apps from the policy. And those options are here, include and exclude. Let me again click on include and choose select apps radio button. Again I want to remind you that in this video, we will configure the conditional access policy to require multi-factor authentication when a user signs in to the Azure portal. Browse the list of available sign-in events that can be used here. And that list is here. Okay? For this video, we will choose Microsoft Azure Management so the policy applies to sign-in events to the Azure portal. So I'm going to select this checkbox. If you want, you can select multiple applications. After selecting Microsoft Azure Management, I'm going to click on Select. We are not going to define any other conditions here. Access control let you define the requirements for a user to be granted access such as needing an approved client application. In this video, we will configure the access control to require multi-factor authentication during a signing event to the Azure portal. So under access control, choose grant and then click on this link. Make sure Grant Access Radio button is selected. After that, check the box for Require Multi-Factor Authentication. So here I'm going to select the radio button in front of Require Multi-Factor Authentication. So this will tell us that only grant access 
with asking for multi-factor authentication. Now I am going to click on save to save the changes. At this point, we have defined users or workload identities, cloud apps or actions and access control in this conditional access policy. Conditional access policies can be set to report only if you want to see how the configuration would impact users or off if you don't want to use the policy right now. And those options are here. Enable the policy with report only mode. Enable the policy and enforce it with the on option. And if you want to disable the policy, that time you need to toggle the value to off. Let's enable the policy and then taste Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication for the member of taste group 1 group. Set the enable policy toggle to on to enable this conditional access policy. To apply and create conditional access policy, select create. Wait for the confirmation message. We can see the policy is created successfully message. We can see the policy is listed here. See MFA test policy. Let's test our conditional access policy and Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication in action. First, sign to a resource that doesn't require multi-factor authentication. Open a new browser window in in private mode. So enter the URL https colon double slash myapplications.microsoft.com and press enter key. Sign in using taste user 2's user account. So the user account is going to be user 2 msft webcaster dot on microsoft dot com. Hit next. Enter the user password and click on sign in. Keep in mind that taste user 2 is a member of the group named taste group 1 and we can confirm that there is a no prompt for you to complete multi-factor authentication during sign in process. Now I am going to sign out from this page. And now I'm going to close the browser window. So we have confirmed when user access myapplications.microsoft.com web page, it does not ask for multi-factor authentication. Now again open new browser window in in private mode. And this time we want to sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal. As the Azure portal was configured in the conditional access policy to require additional verification, you get an Azure AD multi-factor authentication prompt on your mobile device. So let's type the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key to access Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We will use the credential of our test user 2. So let's enter the username user2 at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com Click next, enter the password and click on sign in. We can see the message is there, approve sign in request. Open your Microsoft Authenticator app and approve the request to sign in. In my mobile, I need to manually approve the signing by opening Microsoft Authenticator app. Tap on approve to approve the sign in for our user use it too. And once I approve the authentication on Microsoft Authenticator app, user can now sign into Microsoft Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We can see user Name Taste User 2 has successfully accessed Azure Active Directory Admin Center. 
So as we have defined in conditional access policy, when user try to access the Azure Active Directory management, it asks for multi-factor authentication. That means we have successfully implemented the conditional access policy in Azure Active Directory to enable multi-factor authentication for a group of users. If you no longer want to use conditional access policy to enable Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication configured as in this video, you can delete the policy or you can simply turn off the policy. Let's see how we can do that. But first, from here, I'm going to click on sign out. Let's sign out from our user test user 2. Uh, let me close this browser window. And right now we are on Azure Active Directory Admin Center, which we are accessing using our global administrator, Manhat Rakhulia. Uh, we are on conditional access policy page and here we can see our policy is there, CA MFA taste policy. So let's click on our policy name, which we have created earlier. And suppose if you want to delete the policy, you simply need to click on this uh, delete icon. And once you click on delete icon, it will ask for the confirmation that are you sure you want to delete the policy. I'm going to click on no. And suppose if you want to turn off this policy enforcement, that time you simply need to click on off and click on save to save the changes. And now the policy is there, but it is not in the active state. Uh, let's wait for the confirmation. Okay, the successfully updated. Uh, let me close it and let's click on refresh. And here we can see the state is now changed to off. That means this policy is not currently applying. So that concludes the video on how to create a conditional access policy to enable multi-factor authentication for a group of users in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.